Hi, welcome back to Shishi Show. And I'm Shishi or Sherry, but everybody calls me Shishi. We are on the second part of our social media education series today. It's a long one, but if you've never been on Instagram and you want to be on Instagram, this is a good basic start to learning how to do it. So I hope you enjoy it. Get your phone out. Have your name ready. Uh, be thinking of a blog name that you want to choose. So stop this right now and figure that out before you start downloading the app and creating your account because you'll need to know that first. If it's going to be a business, then you will want to try to make sure that your account name can be used across all the verticals. If not, that's okay, but it sure makes it clean and easy for you to run your business when it's all under one name. All of mine are all at She She Show. So if that doesn't work for you, then whatever. If you're a private account and it's for fun and for some kind of hobby or whatever, a photo album of your life, then you can just choose whatever you want for your account, but you gotta make sure it's available first. So do that. Get on there and you'll find out. Uh, you might have to go ahead and download it so you find the search button so you can search the names and make sure that your name hasn't been taken. Anyway, enjoy. Leave me questions down below if you have any more questions. Uh, my outfit details um, will be also there. Where I shop will be in the description below and a few other, oh, and some of my most recent posts. So for uh, YouTube, we are also doing this over on shishishow.com. Please come over and hop over and subscribe. Thank you and enjoy. Hi guys, this is Shishi with the Shishi Show, and we are on the next phase of social media education tutorial, and today we're gonna talk about Instagram. And I know a lot of you are on Instagram and understand it thoroughly. This may not be for you, but you might refer your mom or someone else that refuses to go there because they're afraid of it to shishishow.com. And today we're going to just walk through a few steps and I'm going to show you um, how to download it, uh, main basic operation of Instagram and why I think it is a great uh, thing to have in your life. So today, um, first of all, we're going to go to um, the App Store and you can see the uh, Instagram app right there and mine says update. That means there's an update and you just click that if you see it. But from there, you will download this from iTunes. So uh, go to iTunes, and that's where I got this, um, or from the App Store, and click it on, and we will go from there um, to, I'm not going to set up a new account, but that's where you get the app for your phone. You can also put the app on your laptop, or I think even your iPad. It's not as functional as your mobile phone, but it does serve some good purposes. So today, and, and the other thing is, you need to be thinking about a name for your account. And of course, mine is She She Show, and I chose that because it's my blog name, and I have a website, I have, and I was able to get it on all the verticals, on all the accounts, social media accounts like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, etc. If you are just starting out and you want to simplify your life, pick a name that you can get on all those uh, social media accounts because it'll make your life so much easier. If not, it's not a big deal. But, you know, just search around Instagram and look at some different places. Uh, and I'll show you how to search in just a minute. And look at the different names. Everybody has names from all, I mean, just crazy things that they choose for their names. So the first thing you do, right, you're going to download Instagram uh, from the App Store into your phone. Second of all, you've got to have your name ready to go, your account. You may even search to make sure it's available. Have three in case it's not available. You need to do this actually before you even uh, download and, and set up your account. 
Okay, um, the next thing, we're going to go out of that, and this is my phone you're going to see here, and I have all my social medias together in a box, and you just, you just drag, you just hold down, and you move them around, and let go, and I can move photos into this box if I want, but I like to keep like things together that make sense. So all my social media accounts are together right here in this box. And um, so it's you just tap it on. You tap there and then you're going to tap on Instagram and that's She She Show Instagram. Right here uh, you're going to see how many posts you have. Then you're going to see how many followers you get and this will show how many people you're following. Um, up here is the name of your account that you set up. And these are all my photos. And it goes all the way back to the beginning. You just have to give it time to load. So I've got, what, over a thousand photos in here. This is why I love Instagram. It, even if you're not a blogger, this is the beauty of Instagram because this can be the most beautiful photo album of your life, of your children's life, your grandchildren's life. Maybe a sport, your sports, you set up a, an account for a sports group, um, music, anything you want, and uh, or just your fun pictures that you love to take. Maybe you're a photographer and you want to caps, capture some landscape escape pictures like that. I always look for those beautiful, beautiful moments and I, that I include in She She Show. My account is public, but you can go to the little um, this settings icon. That's your settings, and you can edit uh, whether you want to um, be public or private. And I am public, obviously, but if you want to be private, it's all right here so you can block users if somebody's you don't want to you know be able to get to you you can block them as long as you know their name um, I have two other linked accounts to my main account and one of them is um, Miss Pippa show which is my dog so you could have your own account for your dog and I have all miss and up here if you tap on she she show these are my mixed accounts right here um my uh, extra accounts on my she she show account it's rocking the ages which i hope you'll follow it's um myself and chic over 50. we just started this about a month ago and it's really fun it's just rocking the ages at all ages we're doing all kinds of things travel lifestyle fun stuff we're headed to new york soon and uh this just means you've got three new messages on there and there's miss pippa show uh, so let's click over to Miss Pippa Show. And so now I'm right in there. Um, so whatever I do in here, these are all my pictures for Miss Pippa Show. And she cute. Um, and then your, again, here is your settings. And you can, uh, your profile is um, here. And everything right there all about Miss Pippa to kind of tell you what you're looking at. So I'm done. I'm going to go back up here to my accounts on my main account and I'm going to go back. I'll show you real quick, rocking the ages. And so you can tell we just started because uh, we have only 11 posts. We've already got 634 followers, so that's exciting. And this is my friend, Chic Over 50. She's a great gal from Utah. You should follow her. All right, so let's go back to She She Show. And um, there is so much I'm going to try to get through. This, these tabs right here all just kind of set up your the way you want to view it. I always like to view mine with the with the boxes of pictures. Some people like to do where you just scroll uh, in a vertical way to look at all the photos on the account. But for me, it's much easier. I, I rarely ever use that. I always keep it on the uh, 
thumbnails. That's called, these, these are called thumbnails, actually. Um, this, uh, let's see, that save collections. I never use this. It's not that important at this time, obviously, if I don't know how to use it. Let's go back up here to your uh, settings. It has how many, it, you can connect your Facebook account with your Instagram account. Uh, you have photos of you, um, add automatically. So that was my setting there. It's just whenever I post, it adds it automatically. Uh, my story settings, this is Insta Stories, and I'll go over with you that in just a minute. And I've got everyone, but you can take that out and do people you follow or just turn it off completely. But I do everyone. Um, there again, you can do hide the stories from whoever you don't want to see. So you have control over this. There is no reason why um, anybody should harass you because you can just kick them right out of your account if you want. Um, to edit your profile, you just click on edit. And right here is, I change this all the time because I'll say click link in profile on my post if, I, if you want to shop my outfit. And I always put my new latest blog post here that associates with the Instagram folks. So you can click on from here and go into, it'll take you right to um, my blog, my today's blog. Right? I thought that was right. Oh, once I'm uh, saved, right now I'm in the edit mode, so I can't do that. This is about what my account is about. And um, this is my Facebook account, and I've linked it. And my personal blog, contact options, my email, and phone number. So you set that all up and then you're ready to go. You, you just want to add your first picture. So uh, where do we do that? We're going to go down here to the plus sign and uh, I have, it will come if you're on um, iMac, you've got all your photos up here <clears throat> and so I'll scroll down here because I always have a little folder called blog photos and these are the photos where I get sorry, my library and these are where I get all my photos and I edit them from my computer and then I put them into my blog photo uh, folder and I grab my picture from there. So let's just take a picture here. Um, I did some, um, oh, here's the flood. Let's do the flood. That was our neighborhood. So you see next, okay. And here you have a filter and you can choose any one of these filters down here to change the colors and lighting of your photo. And if you don't want to use any of the filters, then you can go to edit. I love a little bit brighter picture, so let's uh, go to bright. And I can see I can go up and down and lighten and brighten that photo. Done. I've got contrast. Same here. It gives it more depth and it brightens it up. Um, Let's see, saturation gives it more color. So you can see all the green, and then you've got almost a black and white. Uh, let's see, what else? Highlights is kind of a color theme too, but it really kind of lightens it up. Similar to high, um, brightness, but a little bit different. It has more intensity. You can sharpen the picture. If it's just a little bit blurry, it'll help out. Anyway, you just have to play with these um, edits for your photo but it really helps to give you a, a nice picture. So we've got bright and we've got contrast and you just, it's all your preference. There's no right or wrong way to do it. So once you're finished, then hit next up there at the top right. And now you're ready to write. You're almost done. So you're gonna write, 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 right here. You're gonna go uh, storm floods, 
in my neighborhood, in my neighborhood. Uh, I'm just going to dot, dot, dot and not go on. And then you want to make sure you add hashtags. Does anybody know what a hashtag is? I certainly did not when I first got started, but a hashtag is a, a word that helps someone else search that it's a word you can type in and I'll show you where to type it in to search. A hashtag, a hashtag is a pound sign. We call it a pound sign if you used a typewriter and a computer, but as social media goes, that pound sign is a hashtag. So you always want to uh, do, so we would do hashtag flood and it will pull up. Look how many posts have used the hashtag flood. Hashtag um, uh, landscape. Let's see how much. Oh my gosh. Landscape is down here. And it's like 6 million posts. So if you type in uh, in the search box, hashtag landscape, you can look at everybody's account that's ever hashtagged and posted a picture with that had used the hashtag word uh, landscape. All right, does that make sense? So um, let's say I'm a beauty blogger and I've got an outfit. I would do hashtag fashionista maybe or fashion. I'm going to New York. Let's do New York, New York, a fashion show or New York Fashion Week. Look at all these posts and after, right after Fashion Week, that number goes really crazy. Once you're done, um, once you contact, oh, it, it is to help you connect your contact, content to a category that allows other people to see you po your post based on your hashtag. So if people were looking at the uh, to see what's going on in Houston, for instance, with this flood, they would search flood, they would search Hurricane uh, Harvey, they would search um, flood Houston, Houston floods, um, the list goes on and then they can find all those photos they have been taking, taken of the Houston floods. That's the greatest example I can think of right now. So we're gonna we're all done. Um, we're gonna do okay. And then if you want to add a location, well, um, it would be where you are if you want to. Sometimes I don't like to put this because I don't want people to know where I am. In other words, I don't put my home address ever. But you could put Houston, Texas, and um, or Colorado or wherever you are, or at a restaurant. Many times it will pull up restaurants because they it uses a algorithm that knows where you are if you allow Instagram to know your know your location and they will pop up and ask you if it's okay if they use your location and you can say yes or no um, so anyway down here if you're connected to your Facebook you can also share it once you post you can it will send it straight to my Facebook also and Twitter. The Twitter, I never can get the picture, so I always do my Twitter manually. I'm not on Tumblr anymore. Um, tag people. So if there were people in this, um, I would tag Miss Pippa's show, but tags are different than hashtags. Tags are the at sign, which is this sign right here. So um, that would be the name of an account. So at Miss Pippa Show, there she is. It kind of pulls it up for you really fast. So she's not in the picture, but if she were in the picture, I would tag, that's called tagging her. Um, if it was me, I would put, uh, let's see, I would do um, at, you just tap on it to bring it up and then you down here all these little down here you've got you've got to play with this some um, but to get the most of the tools hit the ABC and then hit hashtag and then do 
uh, go back to the ABC and it'll transfer it back to your ABC keyboard. So you go back and forth here and here. Um, your emojis are the little, um, this little globe right there. And these, there's hundreds of emojis. I love to use emojis. You'll see my hearts and flags and people and dogs and pets and drinks and food all in here. They're fun. There's fashion stuff, animals, flowers, the sun, the moon, water, fruit, vegetables, activities, sports. So those are fun. So you could add in uh, a couple of uh, emojis and um so okay done uh that that's in the text part you would do that so you would go back here and go to the little stuff and then add your emojis there and then just the little back button right here if you mess up you just go back okay um so let's do okay. Um, I'm not gonna post this, but once I'm ready to post, guess what? You go right up here to share. And, well, I can do it. I can go ahead and share it. And then we are on um, my Instagram, but I'm gonna go ahead and share it and then I'll go right in and show you how to delete. So we're. this is not the way I would do this, but I'm just going through the motions right now. So share, whoops share and there it comes now I'm in the main body of the feed all right so now I'm over here where everybody else has been posting under the home page this little three dots right here is edit box I use this a lot can you believe it hit it and then come down here to edit and um, I'm going to uh, all right so wait a minute I go here and I'm going to delete it and then it says delete again and you do delete and now it's gone so that's how you add a photo let's search some hashtags <laughs> okay keep wanting to use the the screen on the computer and I'm actually using my phone so we are at the little search the little magnifying glass and the browser bar up here is where you search it's got um, people tags and places so you can search an account you can search your hashtags see all these hashtags you can search any of those so let's say um i wanted to do i i mean i probably wouldn't do let's do lace this is everybody that's posted lace with the lace hashtag a photo that's probably got lace in it so if you're just interested in lace uh dogs hashtag um dogs and there's your dogs look 48 yeah right at 49 million oh my gosh look at what just screwed that up Go back and there there's all the doggies look I mean it's so fun it's fun you can just get carried away searching hashtags so let's go back and people um, let's do my friend chic over 50 she is you don't even hear you don't have to use the at sign um well there she is she popped right up but um let's see who else i'll do carson c-a-r-s-o-n carson is my assistant and he's also my grandson let's see oh i hope he's not done anything bad nope he's got uh, this is all his stuff so you can search people you know and uh, you can type in their name, uh, even if their, their account name is not the same as their personal name, most of the time it will pull it up. Um, so that's how you search. So 
we've got the home the going back to home over here so all these pictures are people you follow or who Instagram kind of puts in your feed and you can just scroll through there and look at everybody's picture and we're going to talk about like and follow in just a second and uh, your favorites these are people that uh, this is uh, the little hearts is where you've got uh, a lot of uh, comments and then over here is back to your feed and we're going to have to do Insta Stories on another video because this is really running over longer than I want it to be. But for you to get here, right up here will be your Insta Stories if you've posted. So this is my Insta Stories. And um, then if you want to uh, add in a story, you just go back to home, click on the camera, and you drag down and it will pull up recent pictures and you can add a story but we're going to do that later that's too much overload right and um so let me get back here we are so this is instagram it is the photo album of your life or it is um you know things places people animals um inspiration oh gosh we have lots of Christians that give great quotes um, just anything and everything I love it I love it ten times more than I do Facebook it doesn't get all boggled down and too much of, of people's lives um, it's pretty it's pretty quick and to the point and I'm such a visual that I can see uh, I love looking at all the pretty pictures. I'm a big old picture lover. So that's Instagram. And um, if you have any questions, you can uh, comment below. And also, um, then later up here at the top, all these, these are the people I follow and that they've done stories called Insta Stories, but we'll get in that at a later date. Anyway, Instagram from Shishi Show, and let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for following along, and uh, I'll talk to you next time on our next part of the series, and it'll either be Insta Stories, or it'll probably be Like to Know It, which we'll get into some other types of uh, social media applications that are so useful, especially for shopping. Hi, I know it was a little long. I sure hope it helped to explain why I think Instagram is a great tool and a whole lot of fun. It's just the way you can be creative and capture some of the special moments in your life. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Please subscribe in the subscribe box and head on over to Shishi Show as well and subscribe and follow us. We look forward to seeing you on the next part of this social media education series. Thank you. Mwah.